Thank you all for joining us for the ninth annual Sustainable Growth Award Ceremony. My name is Rob McCord, and I am the Secretary of the Maryland Department of Planning. I want to welcome all those who are attending virtually to recognize these outstanding people and projects in Maryland. The Growth Awards are the highest level of recognition for well-planned economic and community development and sustainability in the state. The 10 award recipients we recognize today exemplify a commitment to successful and sustainable communities. We recognize their achievements in leadership and service, community planning and development, and preservation and conservation. We also have three honorable mentions that we will be recognizing. The Department of Planning is excited about continuing the tradition of honoring people and projects in our small towns, our big cities, and our rural areas, and to the projects that demonstrate the creativity and resourcefulness of our communities, and to our commitment towards conservation and preservation of Maryland's natural resources. One of planning's primary charges is to provide technical assistance to local governments, and the recipients of today's awards are the best examples of what our department wants to highlight in promoting quality development in our existing towns and cities and strengthening our rural economies. Today's award winners exemplify the diversity of Sustainable Growth Award recipients, ranging from two outstanding land use and conservation advocates from Southern Maryland, two projects in Baltimore City that are empowering Black women home ownership and youth development, a resource center for businesses and entrepreneurs in Southern Maryland, a comprehensive plan that takes on the sustainability challenges of a fast-growing suburban county, rethinking the traditional road design guide for a multimodal environment that promotes safer streets, two of Maryland's most successful agricultural land preservation programs and their unique approaches to ensuring Maryland farms thrive, and a multi-year wetland outdoor classroom project that transformed the school turf from a monoculture of grass and weeds into a thriving and largely self-sustaining wetland. As mentioned earlier, this is the ninth annual recognition of Sustainable Growth Awards. The process for this year's awards began back in May of 2021 with a broad outreach effort for nominations in the three categories of Growth Awards. The Leadership and Service Award is presented to individuals and organizations for leadership and service that advance the public's appreciation, understanding, and or involvement in promoting smart growth and sustainable communities at the local, regional, or state level. The Sustainable Community Award is presented to public or private projects that demonstrate outstanding achievement and serve as examples of smart growth that should be emulated throughout the state. The Preservation Conservation Award is presented to individuals and organizations for their accomplishments in protecting or improving farms, forest, natural resources, and the waters of Maryland. A total of 25 nominations were received this year, the largest number of nominations we have ever received. The projects were from all parts of the state, from small towns and rural communities to cities like Baltimore. Both public and private sector projects were nominated. The planning department recruited a review committee of professional planners from throughout Maryland to evaluate the nominations and make their recommendations. The review of the nominations occurred in August of 2021. The selection committee consisted of Amy Gowan, Phyllis Grover, Garrett Knapp, Pat Keller, Kathy Mayer, and Rob Robinson. I wanna give special thank you to each of them for reviewing all these exceptional nominations and providing their recommendations. As the review committee noted during their deliberations, there were so many outstanding nominations that covered such a broad range of topics, making it extremely difficult to rank one nomination over the other. We sincerely appreciate the review committee's members for giving of their time, their talent, their experience and expertise in furthering the goals of this program. Now, on to the Growth Awards.